brothers and sisters in Christ. I was in town for a dental cleaning and my daughter and I decided to stop and pray at Planned Parenthood. And God gave me a word about the tree in the background. See this beautiful palm tree? God gives shade to this building, even though it is so wicked. He provides shade and comfort every day for this building, even though there are so many wicked things happening. He loves, he loves people, even though they're sinning against him. So I pray, Father, that you forgive these people for they know not what they do. Give them love and comfort and let them know that there are other options and there are options to turn to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What a scam. I, you know, My I really thought she was going to talk about me. I am sitting in front of 30 Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes that my family and I have packed for this year, 2021. We have always loved Operation Christmas Child. As a matter of fact, over the last nine years, our little family has packed 325 shoe boxes. But unfortunately, this year, we will not be submitting our shoe boxes to Operation Christmas Child because we recently found out that Franklin Graham is a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's <laughs> right. And what I mean by that is he said that Jesus would support the abomination. And as a matter well, of fact, see that and again. his wife have already participated let's see it again. in the abomination. Let's see it again. That Jesus would support the abomination. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, him and his wife have already participated in the abomination that is abortion. My brothers and sisters in Christ, this is a lie straight from the pit of hell. Jesus would have never supported injecting fetal material from somebody else's unwanted pregnancy in order to stay healthy. Do you understand? No. Jesus would have talked about high dose vitamin C. He would have reminded you that he gave this gift to us through citrus in the winter. He would have talked about high dose. You know, if Jesus cared so much about us, uh, then why did he allow the American government to turn me into a robot? That's, that's the question I have for you, lady.